This is Brian from Chemical Engineering Philippines. We, as chemical engineers and chemical engineering students has our own stories about the Perry's Chemical Engineers Handbook. It has been our partner during our academic years. However, little do we know about the real story behind this wonderful and remarkably useful book. On this video, allow me to tell you, the history of the Perry's Chemical Engineers Handbook. In year 1888, the first chemical engineering degree program started at MIT in chemistry, under the direction of Lewis Norton. Presented by George E. Davis at Manchester Technical School in the UK, MIT chemistry professor Lewis M. Norton created Course X. It is the world's first four-year chemical engineering curriculum. In 1891, the Department of Chemistry granted seven bachelor's degrees for chemical engineering, the first of their kind to be bestowed anywhere. After Norton's death in 1893 at the age of 39, Professor Frank H. Thorpe led Course X, through a continued rise in popularity. Thorpe's Outlines of Industrial Chemistry, which was published in 1898, is considered one of the first textbooks in chemical engineering. It was in year 1915, when Arthur D. Little of MIT, develops the concept of a unit operation. He is credited with introducing the term unit operations to chemical engineering, and promoting the concept of industrial research. In 1920, MIT forms a separate chemical engineering department. It was from 1922 up to 1925, when I.J. develops the accreditation criteria. The first handbook, with a title, Handbook of Chemical Engineering published by McGraw-Hill, authored by Liddell, is published in 1922. Other early textbooks in chemical engineering such as the Elements of Chemical Engineering, by Walker, Lewis, and McAdams, as well as the Principles of Chemical Engineering, written by Badger and McCabe, was published from year 1923 until 1926. And now we have, John H. Perry. The editor of the first three editions of Perry's Chemical Engineer's Handbook. He received his bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from the University of Maine in 1917. He then served in the Army during World War I, from 1918 to 1919. John Perry obtained his master's degree from Northwestern in 1920, and then obtained his Ph.D. from MIT, in 1922. It was during this year, when he worked for several companies, but eventually joined DuPont Experimental Station in Wilmington. He was a physical chemist studying sulfuric acid production. Remained with DuPont or subsidiaries for the remainder of his career. While working for DuPont, he was commissioned by McGraw-Hill to develop the Chemical Engineer's Handbook. The first edition was published in 1934 and had 2,569 pages. John H. Perry was also the editor of the second edition, which was published in 1941, and also the third edition, which was published in 1950. The third edition had only 1,884 pages, but because the pages were larger, it had nearly 40% more printed area. When John Perry passed away in 1953, his son, Robert H. Perry, took over the editor's responsibilities. And here is Robert Perry, the son of John Perry who is the new editor of the fourth edition which was published in 1963. Sidney Kirkpatrick, and Cecil Chilton, served as co-editors, for the fourth edition of the handbook. It was the first edition to fill in the blanks of the prior versions of the periodic table of the elements and include the atomic era homemade elements. Perry and Chilton were editors of the fifth edition, which was published in 1973. Robert Perry died in 1978 when he was tragically struck by an automobile in England. Donald W. Green, who was John Perry's first PhD student, became editor. The sixth edition was published in 1984. Don Green lobbied McGraw-Hill, 
to have the sixth and all subsequent editions be officially titled, Perry's Chemical Engineer's Handbook. The seventh and eighth editions, were published in 1997, and 2007, respectively. And now we have the ninth edition, which was released in August, 2018, with Donald Green and Mary Lee Z. Southard as editors. Both are chemical engineering professors at the University of Kansas. If you are wondering how the price changed, from the first up to the ninth edition of the handbook, then have a look at this graphical representation. You can see that the price drastically increased through time. The content has obviously increased, as well as the total weight of the book, that also increased a lot, if you compare the weight of the first edition to the ninth edition. And that is how we have our Perry's Chemical Engineer's Handbook, that is helping us in our studies in chemical engineering. It is always great to know the story of the things that has been a part of us, as we journey towards our dream, in becoming a chemical engineer. I would like to thank you for watching our featured video today. Please support Engine Nerds and Chemical Engineering Philippines for more videos.